talking about the hands that touch. Probably we should look at this touch a little bit more complex and looking at those hands that touch rather than the person that had been touched. When you are Pilates teaching, you are touching all day. And so uh, I ask myself, and actually we do this in our education also a lot, what is the most effective touch? Why do I touch? And how can I recognize that the touch has been successful? There's a lot of interpretation of touch going on. And if you have experienced a light touch as being something that is strange to you in the past, a light touch for me will ask for the interpretation of being strange and being somehow related to this other light touch that I had sometime. So in a way, when you touch somebody, you touch a lot of physical structures, but you touch the past, the present, and the future. You definitely have a tool, your body, that communicates with your client's body, and the message is delivered also by the way your body is structured. If you follow the unconscious signals of a body, the body will tell you if you are achieving a state of presence, connectiveness and awareness. If you want to know how the body, how Nina's body, will look in 20 years time from now. You will have to observe her intentions, desires and emotions now because those intentions, desires and emotions will create the body that she will have in 20 years time. Awareness is something that's an internal process rather than, you know, comparing myself to others. The faces start looking relaxed. The lips start looking reddish and not blue and pale. The skin color in itself is becoming a little bit more colorful. And then the breathing starts to deepen. That's how you feel Pilates.